a little two week old baby goat that needs someone to step up and nurse this little guy because the mother could no longer care for it since she fell really ill. Oh my goodness, guys. We're gonna go on ahead, slip the nipple on right now, and we're gonna go feed the little baby. Come on, girl. Oh, does some good baba. What is up you guys? I hope you all are having an amazing day so far. So guys, I recently came across this post online about this little two week old baby goat that needs someone to step up and nurse this little guy because the mother could no longer care for it since she fell really ill and the owners don't have time to nurse this little baby. So of course I'm stepping in. We are going to actually be going to pick up this little baby, bring her back to the Fetter fam and basically nursing her back to health. So this little guy is so, so tiny and is going to need a lot of attention and a lot of care. So guys, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to head inside, change out of my pajamas, and we are going to make our way to go adopt this little baby goat. So guys, it is about 9.40. It says we're going to be there in 20 minutes, so we're going to be there at 10. We got the blanket for the little guy, and I am so excited to pick up this little baby goat. So guys, I'll catch you all once we get there. So we just arrived, and they are opening up the gate right here, and I don't know if they're going to come out and bring the little baby to us or if they're going to escort me to the back. So guys, I'll, I'll just keep you updated. A few moments later. Oh my goodness guys hello now guys he may seem big on the camera but look look how tiny look at my hand compared to him this little baby is so tiny now the people who had him were bottle feeding him because he didn't have a mom but you can see he's really scared right now and if you look right here you can see that this little baby still has his umbilical cord oh my goodness you are so adorable you're saved now it's okay now what i want you to do right now guys i want you to stop what you're doing right now and comment down below a little name for this little baby go girl hi mama and guys if i like your name i may pick you in the next video naming this little baby what's up hi you're so cute so what we're gonna do now guys is we're gonna take this little baby we have him wrapped up in a blanket so he stays nice and warm we're gonna head to the store we're gonna go get some goat milk we're gonna get bottles we're gonna get everything we need for this little baby one eternity later so guys we have made it back to the house with the little goat here it's this little guy right here hi mama so she's nice and cozy in this little sack right here being nice and close to me and we have everything set up so we have the uni milk multi-species formula for this little baby that's used for literally all types of animals we have a little mixing cup that we're gonna be mixing the milk in and of course we've got her bottle now we've already cleaned her bottle from the store so we're gonna just jump straight into making her formula so we're gonna go on ahead and open this up and just like any type of other milk every scoop is gonna be two scoops of water so we're gonna make enough for maybe probably about two feedings since this is a tiny jar so we're gonna put two scoops in here put a little extra and we're going to come over to the sink right here. And since we did two scoops, we're going to do four scoops of water. So we got one, we got two, we got three, and we got four. Okay, so we're going to put this right here to dry. Now we're going to go on ahead, put the lid back on, and give this milk a nice shake. Now you can see all of the formula is sitting on the bottom right here. So shaking it nice and well will completely mix up the milk nice and perfect so so we have the formula all nice and mixed up now it is ready to make her bottle so we're gonna go on ahead fill the bottle just like that and go and open this now baby goats that are only two weeks old eat about four times a day and with how tiny she is she's only gonna be eating about six to eight ounces so we're gonna go on ahead and pour six ounces you can see I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it on camera but there's little measuring lines right here that has ounces and then the other one is milliliters so we're gonna be looking at the left side right here and we're gonna do six so right here is six right here and we're gonna go on ahead and pour and we're gonna make sure we have the right amount okay guys now that is exactly where we need to be this is about six ounces right here now we don't want to give her too much because we don't even know if she's going to be able to finish this bottle because this is the first time we are feeding her so we're going to close this on up we're going to put these two things in the fridge heat up her bottle and feed the little baby we just finished heating up this bottle now we're going to make sure it is the perfect temperature now we don't want this bottle to be too hot or too cold because if this bottle is too hot well it's going to burn this baby's throat and tummy and if it's too cold well she won't be able to digest it properly so we're going to go on ahead and do the arm test right here 
make sure and guys that is the perfect temperature it's not too hot and not too cold so we're gonna go ahead slip the nipple on right now and we're gonna go feed the little baby so we've come outside to feed this little girl right here now this is her very first feeding with me and actually her very first feeding with a real baby bottle now this feeding might not go as expected because ever since she was born she's been on her mom's nipple so this nipple doesn't compare to her mom's nipple so we're gonna go on ahead and try to feed her for the very first time you can see she's pretty anxious this little girl is hungry so we're gonna go on ahead now we're gonna just grab her head like this and holding her like in position like this doesn't hurt her i'm literally applying no pressure i'm just holding her face in place so we don't get the milk everywhere so we're gonna go on ahead come on girl oh does some good baba oh yeah guys look at her she is latched onto the milk and she is chowing down now we want to give this baby several several breaks because we don't want her to aspirate now what aspiration is is when they inhale it choke on it and milk gets into their lungs and starts developing pneumonia now that's exactly what we don't want for this little girl now she is so little that that could actually happen so we want to make sure that we pace ourselves and we got a, a lot more milk to go so we're gonna go on ahead and try for the second time come on it's okay look oh yeah i got babas right here oh yeah that's some good babas oh my goodness guys look at her literally chowing this down now we're gonna give her another break right there mm, that was that was so good milk you got you got a little milk beard so coda's gonna meet this little baby for the very first time come here cody bear oh my goodness look i have a little baby oh my goodness you've never met a little goat baby before guys I think they're becoming friends. You like him, Cody? Oh my goodness, you love him. You love the little goat baby. Ah, oh, say hello. You smell his face? Okay, he don't he don't watch it in his face so much. Oh my goodness, guys, this is absolutely adorable. Coda and the little goat are becoming the best of friends. Oh my goodness, you love her. You love her. So Duke decided to come over after seeing his big brother playing with the little goat and meeting him. And he wanted to meet him too. What is he? Duke, you love him? Oh my goodness. Now Duke may seem like he is a giant, giant dog now, guys. Believe it or not, he is only six months old. But he is a big, big baby. Is that right, little buddy? Look at little baby goat. Oh my gosh. No, you can't paw the goat. You can't do that. You got hurt, little fella. She's about to finish the bottle in three, two, and one. She just finished and downed the entire bottle. Now, it took a little bit because I wanted to give her a couple breaks so she didn't aspirate. But this little goat girl has a full, full belly now. She is very, very satisfied. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to lock all my big dogs up, and we're going to let her out for some playtime. So we put all the dogs away and we're literally letting her roam around the entire yard and she is having a blast. Isn't that right, mamas? You're having a blast? Tell everybody. Tell the camera. Tell your fans. Tell them how you're having so much fun. I mean, she she is loving it out here. Come on. Let's go. Now watch this, guys. Now if I walk one way, she's going to chase me. I'm going to go this way. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh my goodness. You're so cute. Look at that little tail wag. Oh my goodness. Now, guys, the reason she is following me is because since she is so young, she is going to imprint on someone. Now, usually that would be the mother. Now, since this little girl doesn't have a mama and she was really, really sick, well, that is where I come in. She's going to probably imprint on me since I'm the one raising her. I'm the one bottle feeding her and pretty much doing everything for her. Isn't that right? Tell the camera. Talk to everybody. Tell them how you are so adorable. Oh, my goodness. Look at those eyes. They're so weird. Does that feel good? The chin scratches are so nice, guys. She is literally in a trance. She is in heaven with these chin scratches. Now, what I wanted to show you guys was her markings. I mean, if you look, she is a gorgeous, gorgeous pattern. She's brown, black, and white, which is a tri-colored goat. I mean, isn't that right, Mama? That's right, Mama. You are gorgeous. Now, another thing I wanted to point out to you guys is you can clearly see that she has no horns, and goats have horns. Now, if you look right here... You can see that she has the start of her horn right there. Let's see if we can see it. You see that, guys, right there? And the other one on this side right there. You see that? Oh, my goodness. They're so itty-bitty, but you can actually feel a tiny, tiny bump. Now, as she starts growing and developing, they're going to start sticking out more, and she she's going to be a little goat with some big horns. Is that right, mamas? Now let's show everyone those little teeth you's got. Now on her top set of teeth, she actually has little nubs right here. You can see, oh my goodness, you saw those nubs? And on the bottom, let's see if she will let us show you guys. 
Let me see. Let me see those teeth. Don't be shy. Oh my goodness, you got some big teeths growing in. You can see that she is literally just hanging out under my chair. Are you taking shelter? Are you taking shelter with all the crazy noises out in the big world? So you can see she is having a grand old time exploring the new yard, just getting used to her new environment. But that is going to end today's video. If you all enjoyed today's video, rescuing this little baby because her mother could no longer care for her, well, give this video a big thumbs up. And guys, don't forget to comment down below a name for this little girl because she still, she still needs a name. Here, come on. Let's get you up here. This little girl needs a name, and I want you guys to pick it. And if I like your name, I'm going to pick you in the next video. And, guys, you may, be, you may be the lucky one picking out the name for this little crazy goat girl. Now, if you want to see this little crazy goat girl grow up and adventures with her, well, what are you guys waiting for? Subscribe to my channel in the link down below.